Hey everybody, welcome to My Chamber TV. Guess what? We have got the the best lineup of all time. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, we have a very good lineup. Safety Harbor's done a really good job this week, and I tell you, it's it's going to be a good show. So, and we're going to talk about the the pets. The pets. The pets are important. We all love our pets. Of course. Right. So yeah. I've got I've got Paul and Jocelyn from the Pet Supplies. Plus, right? Pet yeah. Supplies yeah, Plus. Pet supplies yeah. And you guys are from the Clearwater store. Clearwater and Pinellas, and Pinellas Park. Park. And yeah. Pinellas Park. Oh, yes. oh. Yeah. oh you're representing. That's <laughs> representing odd. two yeah. and one. That's, so let's talk about what is, we all know what it is. Let's, from your mouth, what is Pet Supply Plus? Pet Supplies Plus is pretty much your friendly neighborhood pet store. We're very pet centric. So we're, we like to gear our like pet care towards each individual neighbor. So we're mm -hmm. not going to give bland pet care. We're going to give, we have all sorts of pet care information. We okay. also have so many products in our store so that we can gear it towards your pet and not so much the general population of pets. Oh, okay. So now what, what services? Because you guys have yeah. services. Oh, we do. Yes, no, we do. actually have a lot. We So, of course, we have a grooming salon for, like, do dogs. We do even nail trims for some exotic animals. Um, and also cats as well. We do baths for cats. I want to I, I watch that. So, yes, no, it's I've definitely seen difficult. That on, I've seen that online. It never yep. goes well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they definitely are talented and they're able to handle it, which is really good. Um, we also have a self-service dog wash. Whoa, so whoa, you can whoa. come in. You have a self-service? Yes. Yeah. So you pretty much instead of getting your dog to the groom room, right, and getting them all pampered up, you can do it yourself instead of, you know, taking the mess from your house and into our dog wash instead. So you bring your pup in. We have the shampoo, towels. Um, we even have blow dryers. Yeah. Like really? Blow dryers. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've never heard of that. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, three different tubs. And uh, you come in, you wash yourself. We provide everything, the towels, the shampoo, conditioner. Um, it's, uh, it's actually, um, $10 for a single, uh, dog wash. If you buy a, uh, five, you get a five for 25. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's called a dirty dog, uh, discount. <laughs> dirty uh, dog discount. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, and then we, um, we try to, uh, work with the community a lot. Donations, uh, we do a lot of de different e events, rescue uh, organizations. Um, I have, I'm one of the owners and I, uh, myself and my business partner bought this in, uh, 2018. So when we came in, we tried to be a little different from everybody. Uh, we want everybody to come, our, our customers come in and be, um, very welcoming. It says, you know what, this is like a type of, uh, um, somebody's home. Mm. Or family, yeah. And that's we want we, the type of uh, business that we uh, run. Um, we, I mean, I had uh, customers that were um, had cancer, and I met them, and I became personal friends with them. That I sometimes they call me, says, "Hey, Paul, could you deliver this uh, product to my house?" I says, "Yeah." And there have been several times that I actually went to Publix and got food for them to. Oh bring. wow! So you know, so you are, really are you are, you're actually I, getting I, yourself uh, into the I, neighborhood. I, that is yeah, yeah. And, um, absolutely phenomenal. So we try to do um, be a little different from everybody else. This is you know we want to make sure we, that we care about everybody. That you know, um, like I said, I we donate maybe once a week. Um, to Human Society in Pinellas right there. Mm -hmm. I give a, you know, a good, my whole full truck is usually full of product. So uh, if I ever need something, I'm gonna follow Paul because he's got stuff in his truck. Yeah, <laughs> always, always, right? always today. got food, got cat food, you name it. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't let anything go to waste. So we do you cover the, the, the full spectrum of animals, dogs, cats, birds, mm -hmm. snakes? Oh, yeah. Snakes. Fish, I mean, yes, we, we cover everything. So you, really? the exotics, your dogs, cats. Um, we even have a vet in store too. Um, oh. So we provide a whole variety of services for your animals. So, so the vet is preventative services, but okay. it still at least gets people, you know, what they need for their pets. Could that vet become the vet for that animal? 
It not necessarily, okay. but it's definitely a lot easier than going to your regular vet because when you're going to your vet, you have a checkup fee just to get like a rabies vaccination. Yeah, yeah, You've got yeah. all these fees, right. but when you go in there, if you're just getting a vaccination, you pay for just the vaccination. Okay. And then while you're there, of course, if your pup needs any other pampering, there's so many other options in store too. Right. Okay. That's now you brought some toys. Of course I did. So yes. that's a, that, this is a collapsible pool just for the little for dogs i mean if your cat likes it i don't know i mean you can I, definitely I, I don't know how you even guys wash I mean, a cat i'm just saying it's just like that never works out well yeah. to how we tried it in in and yeah i had marks for I, trust weeks. me i do from I guess, owning cats i guess that'll be the next interview <laughs> See? How to bait a cat. How to bait, that, that should be a, I'm a Paul, Paul, show me. I want to i'll film that for free i'm just saying right yeah. now. <laughs> um so you have uh it's a, is that a dog slushy? Is that what Yes, it pretty much is a pup sickle, a dog okay. pup sickle for them. So, I mean, you pretty much freeze it and then you just give it as a treat to your pup. That, oh, that, and then you have a splash pad. Yep, splash pad. It just sprays up water. So your dog, I mean, if your dog loves water, then you could definitely put that out in the yard, you know, let them run around any, in it. Any training? No, not really. It's just really if your dog enjoys it. No, no. It do you guys moment. offer? Oh, uh, we don't at the moment. Okay. Oh, but at we the definitely moment. have a good list of like trainers okay. to give if neighbors need, you right, know, right. like the opportunity. Okay. My dog is outrageously crazy. I need help. We have like um, trainers that we can get them in contact with. Now I'm going to ask you the big question. Can I, can I bring my dog with me? Of course, mm -hmm. of course you can. Really? Dogs are very much welcome and they may even have their own photo shoot when they come in because oh we love gosh. dogs coming in. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Man, that is have, super cool. Yeah. I mean, we have uh, customers that come in. We actually uh, the brain exotic animals in there. Um, really? Yeah. I mean, it's a pet store. Yep. And um, it's it's pet a store. Lot, a lot, that's it. That's that should we be have, a slogan. We have a lot it's a pet store. Of, it's a pet store. Bring yeah, it all in. We have a lot we, of uh, customers that come in and they just bring their dogs and walk around and let them i mean we have a lot of customers that actually let the dogs sniff what they want for treats yeah it's like oh really or like yeah. we have bulk treats so your dog's like hey you know like if your dog's picky it's like just grab one out of the bulk bin let them try one and then I they end up liking it they find some yeah. Care and, we have yeah. Uh, just, yep. uh like you know we donate a lot of um food to uh, the human society of Pinellas. So they actually send, a, when they uh, have rescues, to rescue a pet, they come to our store and they all, get all excited and uh, they bring the, their animal, let them walk around and, and they get their, uh, you know, the products and everything else that they need. Um, but yeah, if you went into the stores, you'll see um, them just walking around with their own pets. and that let them is, Now, where is the Clearwater store at? It's uh, it's right here on McMillan uh, in 590. Okay. Uh, right next to uh, the Urgent Kia. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then where's the one in Pinellas Park? It's off of Park Boulevard in Belcher. So it's right on the corner in between a Lowe's and a Publix. Okay. Now, what's the hours? Hours. We're open 9 to 9, um, Monday through Oops. Saturday. And on Sundays, it's 10 to 5 or 10 to 6. 10 to 6. 10 okay. To 6. Now, are you one of the managers? Yes, I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. And which store do you manage? I manage the Pinellas Park store. All right. So there's Bubbly. You can go see her. You can go <laughs> yes, see her yes. in Pinellas Park and bring your dogs down there. Mm -hmm. um, so what have I not, what do I not ask you? Because a lot of times, you know, I, I know how to do this, but you know, there, there's always well, that one I, thing I, that people I, forget to I ask. I think one of the greatest things for us having two stores really close to each other is if I don't have the product in one store, I'm not going to turn mm. the customer down. Right. I will says, you know what, let me go to the other store. If they have it, I'll go get the product and bring it to you. Um, we also do, you know, all kinds of different services from delivering uh, to their house. Um, we uh, price match everybody, our competitors. Wow. Okay. So, uh, competing with Amazon and and uh, Chewy, uh, one of the greatest things that we have is if you place an, uh, an order online, um, we'll get that order online and on the same day, we'll deliver the product to your house. Most, same day, yeah. well, most, most likely yeah. you'll yeah. have your product within an hour at your door. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know yeah. pet stores, so if you, I, knew, I don't know if any yeah, of this so delivers. If you went in, yeah to petsuppliesplus.com and pick Clearwater, for instance, mm -hmm. you'll see all our inventory there. And then at that point, you pick the product that you want, and then we get that, we'll prepare it, get it ready, and then we 
ship it out within an hour or so it'll be at your door wow yep and normally too on our website it does say that it'll be next day delivery it's after one o'clock but with both of our stores we've been keeping up with it and as long as it's before typically six o'clock mm -hmm. we get it out same day that is absolutely phenomenal yeah i can congratulations because <laughs> other than other than the the names that you name which i don't like to spread those names but you know i didn't know anybody delivered ever you yeah. know that's we, and, we do we also have uh other we have what's called auto sh ship so if you went to like say for instance you get your uh, medicine at walgreens or cvs and you set it up and it'll actually um will order the product to, to you on uh, whatever time say i say if you want it every month or every two weeks or right. whatever it gets shipped you don't even have to do anything it'll be automatically set up for you god thank paul jocelyn thank you for coming on i appreciate it hey everybody stick around i know this went quick i i, <laughs> I could sit and talk more uh, stick around we've got more things uh more guests coming right after these messages Welcome back. I mean, I can't see you. Oh, I wish I knew someone I could really just get some good glasses. I don't know. I'm here with Dr. Lambert. He is a VIP air care and optical boutique, and you're out of Carillon, right? Yes. Okay, let's talk about what VIP does. Yeah, so VIP eye care, um, we're a little bit more than just your normal optical. Um, so we do offer a lot of more of these high-end frames as well, a lot of European frames um, for patients that are looking for something a little bit different than what they're used to seeing at, you know, your general corporate, like Vision Works, places like right. that as well, too. Um, not only that, but we do offer um, fitting specialty contact lenses. So there's a lot of cases where patients might have some type of corneal disease and that's where we can come in and we can still offer them um, better vision with contacts versus sometimes they see a lot better with contacts than they do glasses in those really? situations. Now, see, I've never known that. Yep. And that's going to be more for like your corneal transplants, keratoconus, a lot of those. Like I said, there's more of those corneal issues that they have. Okay. But, you know, and that's where we're there. We're there to help those patients out for those because it's a kind of a niche. There's not a lot of practices that do fit those specialty lenses but not only that a big portion that we're going into is dry eye because dry eye is something that does affect all. That, uh, that's a real thing oh yeah and it affects okay. everybody i mean it doesn't matter if you're young you're old i mean it uh, also if you have certain types of systemic conditions sometimes you know diabetes things like arthritis things like that they can also affect the eyes as well too causing severe dryness so we're opening up this dry eye clinic to where now we have a few machines that we can assess that dry eye we kind of go about dry eye in a way of, you know, we start off with, you know, the over-the-counter tiers, mm -hmm. and then from there we can keep getting more and more, like, there are certain types of prescription drops. There's also nasal sprays now, too, that can also help out with dry eyes. Okay. So we have a large array of things that we can do now to help treat that. So now, now, so are you the optometrist in this location? Yeah, so I'm the optometrist in the Carillon location, but we also have a location on 4th Street as well, too. Oh, okay. So we have two separate locations, but I'm the main um, doctor out of the Carillon location, and then we have Dr. Henry and Dr. Um, v, Dr. Veropolis, but we call her Dr. V, just to make it a little easier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they kind of go back and forth, but they're mostly at the uh, 4th Street location. 4th Street, okay. Yep, at this time. Now, is, are you by appointment? Appointment only or walk-ins yeah. okay maybe sometimes so we're more appointment based just okay. because you know we do spend a little bit more time with the patient as well too you know that's one thing that we also do just to you know address whatever issues they may be having with their eyes so our time slots are a little bit longer than what your normal corporate would be so you do get to spend a little bit more time with the doctor not only that but as a doctor we're working up the patient so we're kind of you know finding the issues early on and then we're also doing the exam itself so that's what of wow. course you know appointment based sometimes 
sometimes we might have open slots throughout the day, but we would prefer, you know, them to schedule an appointment before they just kind of come on in just so we can kind of address the situation. And you can deal with the insurances and all exactly. that kind of fun. That's just yes. so much fun. And that's a whole nother game. Right, that they right. Deal with the that's a show into itself, right? 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 That right. is a whole nother show yeah. by itself. Yeah, we could go over that. Oh, so. my. It's just, it's all. Now, do you help them decide whether they actually qualify for contacts versus glasses? Yeah, 100%. That's, that's one a big thing. deal, right? And that's why I always like, you know, sometimes people might be in specialty lenses already and they come in and they're kind of upset because they want me to fit them right away. But a lot of times I like to go over all of their options and kind of what's going to be the best option for you based upon, you know, what your day to day is. A lot of people spend a lot of time on the computer. Some, you know, people retired, they're not doing a lot on computer, they do more golfing. They want more better distance vision. So it tailors per patient and kind of what they do on a day to day basis and what they find most important in their visual needs. You know, a lot of people want to see that computer really well because they're spending a lot of time on it. So. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of, I think, um, I, I remember back in early 2000s, it was the uh, blue light was a very big deal. Yes. And yes. now is that, is that something that's still a big deal now? Yeah, that is still something. It can definitely cause what we call digital strain, including mm. for people that have really bad migraines as well, too. Certain lighting situations are associated with that. So, okay. yeah, that blue light blocking, that's still a big factor. What's nice is in a lot of those contacts are starting to put in that blue light um, blocking filter in them oh, okay. as well, too. So that's cool because you can get it in the glasses and you can also get it in the contact lenses as well, too. So, I would have never thought about that in the contact lenses. Oh, um, man. They even have contacts that are transitions, so they change um, to, like, sunglasses. Really? Yeah. But so you can walk into somebody you've got black eyes. You're right. Exactly. That's, That's weird. the biggest thing is the aesthetics of it. Yeah, people yeah, yeah. are kind of like, oh, it looks like kinda I got demonized. Kind of messing with people. Right. Holy cow. Yeah. Right? But, and that's the thing is a lot of people don't know all those options that they have got in contact it. lenses that are out there. They kind of okay. think that they're stuck in this one and then, you know, that's all that they can do. But there's so many options of contacts in this day and age. And, you know, the field, it just, it keeps changing consistently as well, too. There's newer brands. There's more comfortable brands. So... And that's what we're here for, you know. Do you do the do you do the glass work on site? The lenses? Yeah, they they can do the lenses on site. Now, a lot of times we like to usually, um, you know, quote about a week or so. Okay. Sometimes in the certain cases we can. It's a little bit less, but most of the time it usually takes about like a week to two weeks for the prescription glasses to come in. Right. Oh, so, okay. Right. But yeah. Now, do you when you test the eyes? Can you tell if someone can actually do? handle contacts versus you really don't need to be in contacts you really need to be in glasses yeah and that's where with that first visit you know we do what we call an INR which is just um, insertion and removal so we kind of go over that and little tips and tricks to get the contact lens in and out we got some informational stuff too that we go over that with the patient and kind of discuss and then you know if things don't seem to be working out if it doesn't seem like it's a good fit for them then that's where we start having that discussion where you know maybe you're having a little bit harder time, maybe contact lenses aren't exactly for you because that happens a lot of times. I mean, people come in, they want to do contacts and they start trying to get close to their eye and the moment they do, they're your closing head moves. it. No, 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 you're closing head. it. Yep. So I'll usually try a good like 10 to 15 minutes. If it doesn't seem like it works, we'll be like, all right, I don't think contact lenses are going to be the best option at this time. You know, and sometimes we might do something like, you know, let's try you with an artificial tear using that so you can get comfortable with something getting close to your eye, come back later, and then we'll try the contact lenses again as well. Because a lot of times, you know, um, people that haven't had things coming close to their eyes, it freaks them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. all right, yep. let's, mm -hmm. right, right. Right. <laughs> let's do some like exposure therapy where we just get a bottle, get it close to your yeah. eyes, so you get more comfortable with that first <laughs> yeah. before we get the contact in. Right. So yeah, there's different ways that we work with the patient um, just to get them. And, you know, as long as the patient's willing to keep trying, I'm always willing to keep trying as well, too, to get them successful right. within the lenses as well. Okay. Uh, that Because they... Contact lenses have come a long way. Oh, yeah. I remember in the, back in the day, and I'm old, um, <laughs> that it was strictly this thing that looked like a piece of glass, and that was that was it. That was yeah. That's what you had. And now, I mean, they they fold and they... Oh, man. And they put so much... I mean, some of them even have water gradients to where they have a ton of water in them. So as you blink throughout the day, more moisture is going into your eyes. So, yeah, they've come a long way in the field. Of, and then the next big thing they're about to come out with contacts is they're about to put even, like, medications in them. So, for instance, like uh, people with um, allergies... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have an anti-allergy um, contact lens. So you'll put that contact lens in, it'll put anti-allergy medication. So then you're not having the itchiness and the, you don't have to use the drops as well too. So, I mean, they're just even more so, they're creating more and more new things with these contact lenses over time as well. Healthy eye care is a, is a yeah. big deal. I mean, oh, yeah. people don't, I, I mean, I, I didn't realize that people didn't understand this, but you can actually get, that's where you get a lot of viral infection into oh, your yeah. body through your eyes. Exactly. Not your mouth. Right. A little bit of your nose, but your eyes are really 
Really, yes. it's a it's a target area. Oh yeah, for sure. And the big thing is too, I don't think people know is you know even things like high blood pressure. I mean, we can see high cholesterol. We can see diabetes. Um, a lot of different like a systemic conditions as well. Like I was talking about with arthritis, a lot of autoimmune conditions. All of those we can see changes that happen in the back of the eye. So sometimes we're kind of seeing something weird in the eye. We're kind of catching it, sending them to their primary care, and then they're figuring out like, oh yeah, they do have this systemic condition or this other, you know. So yeah, eye health is very, very important, including once we start getting past that age of 60, just because there's mm. a lot more things that can start occurring in the back of the eye. So we really recommend those yearly eye exams, no matter if you're a healthy 60 year old or not, to start coming in yearly at that point. Now, whenever you're 40, of course, it's also important to come in on those yearly eye exams. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes they'll skip one or two, which is it's not the end of the world. You know, we'd still rather you come right. in yearly. But once you get past the age of 60, it's really important because there's a lot of changes that can occur in the back of the wow. eye. That's the cataracts, too. And the then cataract, what is it? The uh, macular degenerative macular degeneration. Those are some big ones that we see. Those are the most common that we see um, within this area, including, you know, macular degeneration and cataracts, because, you know, we're in a lot of sun here as well, yeah. too. So that's something else that's very important as well as, you know, making sure you wear a good pair of sunglasses. My next question should be, I mean, yeah. how good of the glass? I mean, I can know you can go to 7-Eleven and buy a $10 pair of glasses, yeah. but those are doing more damage than you are good, correct? Exactly. And that's a great question because I get that a lot too, is, you know, wearing a good pair of sunglasses with UVA and UVB protection. That's the most important thing you can do. Now, a lot of times they're going to have little stickers on them that will say like the UVA and UVB. Um, but most of the time, if you're getting some type of like name brand, Maui Jim, Costa, they're going to have that UVA, UVB. Mm -hmm. I get more concerned whenever um, people go to gas stations, get like the cheap $5 right. ones, yep. Yep. because what those do, they have a tent on them. So what yeah. they do is they keep your pupils still larger. So then more UV is coming in. Is polarized a good thing? Oh yeah. Polarized is definitely beneficial for being here in Florida because it's helping with a lot of those reflections off of mm. the water that people get. Yes. And you can see into the water a little bit better. So it's great for fishers as well too. So that's why most of the time we're going to recommend polarized lenses for um, patients here in Florida. Um, wow. But yeah, for sure. The, the, now where so I, I I know the Car I know where Carolina is, but yeah. let's let's tell people where it's at. Yeah, so Carolina is just a little bit north of where the Gandy Bridge is at. Okay. Um, so it's kind of a the Raymond James. They have a state in the J Jable is also there as well too. Those are the big large corporations that are there as well. But it's kind of like a little community that's starting to develop more and more mm. over time. They're also starting to build the new Top Golf there as well too. The same. I did not know Top that. Golf. Yeah. Ooh, you just caught my attention. Yeah. So it's just right down the road. Now I've got to come so, see you next. I can see the ball again right. i mean it's and like then you get to go golf and have a drink at top golf afterwards you know, you know? I, I can't it's hard to shoot now and it's hard to play golf now because i have bifocals with and the it's glasses like, yeah it's 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 really it's it's aggravating yeah there's got to be a solution i bet you can there help is. me find it I, I bet i could doc yeah. thank you for being on today for appreciate sure. it hey thank everybody stick much. around appreciate we have it. way more guests coming on it's going to be i tell you it's a big lineup this week <laughs> see you after these messages Okay, hey, we're back, and you know what? I got Rusty Tweed here from Mold Zero, and mold's the one thing that's the scariest. Whenever someone comes to your house, oh, you got mold. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So, what does Mold Zero do? Well, good question. Obviously, the name of the company is Mold Zero, so our goal is to eliminate mold in the environment. Okay. Um, but the, you know, that's the gist of it. But you are you are remediation. You do the repairs, the whole nine yards. Correct. Yeah, we we started out much smaller and kept growing and adding services. So originally we started out, and we'll talk about it a little bit, is what we call the dry fog procedure, which permeates the, the building and kills uh, any kind of mold, fungus, that kind of stuff. And then we, um, we do uh, removal if it has to be physically removed. If you've had water damage, we can actually remove floorboards, ceilings, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we also um, sanitize, you know, clean it all up physically as well as doing the uh, what we call the dry fog. 
And then in addition to that, we have another division that'll come in and actually rebuild the whole thing. Ooh. You know, with and we have pictures. So before we yeah. get to the pictures, let's talk about what got you, because what got you into <clears throat> this is kind of absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's an interesting story. Um, years ago, we, I mean, we still have the house, but we have a, a very old, large home. And my wife continually had uh, different problems. She had headaches, we go, she had different uh, physical um, handlings for it, mm -hmm. go away. Then six months later, there'd be something else. She get, and she has asthma and that was being aggravated. A lot of respiratory things happening. This literally went on for years. <laughs> and then she went for a blood test one time and it came up that she had fungus in her, in her uh, blood. We're like, where'd that come from? So then we had our, our home tested for mold and lo and behold, we had no idea, but our home was loaded with mold behind the walls, what? crawl space underneath. Um, like I said, it's old home. So it's had different leaks with, you know, water leaks from the roof and also some pipes broken over the years. And, and that dampness gets in behind the walls. And if you don't handle it, it just, it's a Gross. breeding ground for mold. Whoa. Yeah. Now I know we have some pictures. Um, this first picture here is it's just like you said, it was, um, in the walls. Um, that, that yeah. is crazy. Yeah. And you'd be shocked <clears throat> how many places we go to where the people insist there's no mold. They can't figure out where it is. And then you open it up and, and you find out that there's all this stuff growing behind there. And, 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 you know, it's funny because someone may have had a roof, roof leak like three years ago, fix the roof, everything's fine, but they still have different problems coming up. And then when we, you know, find out where the leak was, we go and we check that area. We find, oh my God, all these years that mold's been sitting there and, and it's been closed in and it oh, doesn't yeah. dry out and uh, it just sits there creating spores which then the spores float around your home they get picked up by the air conditioning system blown through the whole home and before you know it the entire home is, has got spores floating around which depending on the person but some people uh, you know they get very aggravated to it uh, here we're just showing we've had to remove a, a ceiling <laughs> Wow. I mean, you, pipe. I guess I, you know, once you, if you get it bad enough, everything has to come off the walls. Sometimes and sometimes it does. studs, right? Or is Some, that, yeah, are the studs always salvageable? Well, again, well, the, the one picture you saw that that case, the studs were actually rotted from over time. So it was a wow. good thing we did open the wall because we found that there were rotted studs. It was a, actually a hundred old building. Right. And we had to uh, remove, we actually had to redo the studs in that case. That's unusual. Though. Wow. I mean, because I'm so that's, that <clears throat> must have been something that was really locked up for a really long time. Yeah. It, it was literally a hundred year old. hundred year old. Home. It was okay. actually an old church that was converted into apartments, that building. Whoa. Yeah. Very beautiful building, but. Wow. Oh, <laughs> so it goes to show you, you don't, you never know what's behind those no. walls. <laughs> now, and now do you, t do you handle getting up and inside the air, air conditioning ducts? And we do. Yeah. Because to me, because like you said, once it gets sucked in, it's. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, literally it gets pulled in the air handling system and it just gets blown through the entire home. Everything that's, that's you know, in that air conditioning system will get spores. Is there different types of mold? Oh, many, many different types. Okay. Surprising amount. Yeah. And, and, and again, it, everybody's different. You know, there might be one type of mold and to you it's no big deal, but your wife's feeling crappy, right? Mm. And, and again, I, me, it doesn't really bother me very much, but my wife's super sensitive. I figure about 20% of the population is very sensitive to mold and um, they get very aggravated when they go into any kind of environment. Right. That, I mean, because it's, is there, is there telltale signs that people need to look out for? Again, if you're having a new, you know, you're, you're not feeling well, you're not sleeping well, asthma, any, anyone with any kind of respiratory issue, because those spores are floating around, they're microscopic and, and you're going to be breathing them in and it's going to aggravate anything going on in there. But yeah, we've had people... Like we have a lot of doctors that send us clients uh, because they've got what they think is mold issues. And, and, you know, you can treat the mold issues as a doctor, but if you don't get the source of it, obviously, there's going to be well, aggravated. Right. So like, and there's a whole list of things. In fact, if you go on your website, you can see. But again, you know, you can't sleep well. I mean, we've had, I mean, I remember one good friend of ours, we, we treated her home and uh, literally she called up and said, since I've moved in this place this last year, I've not been able to sleep. I had the first good night's sleep I've had ever in this place. So it can be a lot of different things. Okay. That, and, and everybody's different. It depends right. how it affects you. Is there, I mean, so say I'm not, say I'm just fine, right? But mm -hmm. you now, you know, now that you've got my curiosity up, I'm sitting right. there going, oh, and also, I know sometimes the brain takes over and now you see things and you, right. you think you think things are, but is there telltale signs like smells? Is there something oh, to look as, for? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, well, obviously, if you're in a damp environment, mm -hmm. right, and that's, we always tell people, keep the humidity low, below 60% in your home. 
and we ran into a lot of problems where people go away and the air conditioning wasn't set right mm. or breaks or something. Mm -hmm. Humidity goes up 70, 80 and it's hot out. Suddenly you've got a, a, a mold bloom. I mean, literally, we've walked into places where the entire condo was peach fuzz. Oh. After two weeks. Oh, yeah, that's a good case of fire <laughs> and treatment so, right there, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we love doing those jobs. They're great. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah but, absolutely. I feel bad for the people because it was just a matter of they didn't have the humidity set correctly. But anyway, you, you, you can smell it, that musty sense. Mm. You know, if you step into a nice, clean, fresh, you know, environment and mm -hmm. then you walk in there, it feels musty, it feels dank, damp, you know. That whole kind of thing. You'll, you so sixty percent is where you kind of want to keep that threshold below, below sixty. Below that, and below you want to 60. keep the temperature below seventy-eight. Okay. As soon as you get above that, it, it's it's going to create mold blooms. Oh, that's. And 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 the other thing is, mold is everywhere. Yeah. You know I mean, you can't totally eliminate it. So as soon as you open your door, there. And, and so our measurement is: is the mold level lower in your home than it is outside? Outside. And so it's important to keep the keep it that way. Okay. Now. So if I want to hire you guys to come to the house and go, okay, I need you to test the house. If there's mold in it, you have that. There's things. Oh, yeah. We have all kinds of testing procedures. And sometimes we have to bring in outside service to do a more thorough test depending mm -hmm. on the situation. Um, yeah, so there's, a, there's a lot. You know, we have moisture meters so we can test the walls and see what's behind there. Because mm -hmm. if there's mold, there's some dampness somewhere. And okay. we, we've got to get the source of that dampness. You've had, you know, a leaky condenser from your air conditioning. You've got mm. a, a pipe leaking. There's... Um, you know, the back of your toilet wasn't on right. That happened to me, actually, our home. <laughs> um, there's been a leaky roof, all kinds of things. You know, leak around your window. Your eaves, some, all that kind of... Yeah, any of that kind of stuff is going to create some kind of moisture coming into the environment in your home, and then you're going to get mold. You just can't get around it. <laughs> now, so, I, I, so my brain is already thinking, so when you guys are in there and you're doing all this, are you sanitizing that air while you're trying well, to work? we are, and... and Okay, how this all started, yeah. I, I told you about my yeah. wife. Well, she stumbled on this technology uh, and it was a, um, a dry fog. And so we had it done for our home. And so there's two steps. We come in and the dry fog will uh, kill everything and it's totally non-toxic. It's based on uh, vinegar and hydrogen, rock, hydrogen peroxide. Mm. It's a special delivery system we have, which makes it a nanoparticle. Right. So it literally permeates everything and kills everything. All okay. mold, virus, bacteria, all that stuff will get killed. And, and, and you can literally walk in right afterwards and it, it'll smell kind of vinegary. Yeah. And then we have a second step where we spray a treatment on it and it coats everything so that the, um, anything that lands on that will get killed. And we guarantee that for a year. Wow. Now, so that's the, the sanitizing part of it. But again, depending on the type of mold and the situation, mm. like some places we go and we just need to do the dry fog. Just the right? dry fog. And, right. and that's not that expensive. And, it's a great process. So if you have any kind of sensitivity, there's a lot of people we come back, you know, at least once a year and refog re it. Because, like I said, it, we guarantee it for a year and it kills off everything and keeps it that way. And then some people, like I said, there's, there's uh, mold underneath the carpeting. Well, you have to remove the carpet. Mm -hmm. And, it, and uh, there's certain types of mold that by Florida law, we actually do have to physically remove, even though we've killed it with mm -hmm. our system. Wow. What, so, now, what areas do you cover? In Tampa? The whole Tampa Bay area. I mean, nice. we go all the way down to Sarasota and up north. I mean, you know, anywhere in the probably a 30, 40 mile radius. Okay. The propers, yeah. right? The, the county's proper. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. best way to get a hold of you guys? Yeah. Well, actually, the easiest is, is our website, moldzero.com. It's very easy. Um, and then I think we got our phone number on there, 727-900-7202. Okay. And call in and, and Call in any time. We have actually now because of emergency water service we offer also. Like if you've had a broken pipe, mm. we're doing one right now. Right. It just happened yesterday where a, a pipe, uh, well, actually it was a building they're working on. They broke the sprinklers and it flooded some oh. of the floors of an apartment building. Yeah, that's a mess. Anyway, but we have 24-7 service for that kind of work. But, in, you know, normally call in the office and we'll, we'll schedule a free estimate. And we'll have one of our guys come out and check out your home or your situation and, and we'll go from there. Man. Hmm. Brother, thank you for stopping in. I yeah. appreciate it being on my chamber TV. Stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. We have, uh, we have Susan coming up from the chamber. Oh, boy. There's a lot going on. Be right back.
Hey, everyone, welcome back. Once again, we're here at Change Her Story. We're actually, we're sitting in your living room, yeah. right? But it's your office Absolutely. and your business yeah. and your store. Absolutely. And we, so let's talk about Change Her Story. Yes. How, how do you get started? Um, I actually escaped domestic violence mm -hmm. in 2014. I ran away with uh, two kids in a car and Whoa. absolutely nothing to start over. And I thought starting over in my head, for some reason, I chose six months. <laughs> I believed that in six months I would be on my feet and we would be back to normal. Right. But it was not the reality. The reality was that it was a very long process very long to process. Um, recover and heal from the trauma that right. we had been living in, as well as to just stabilize financially. Uh, that was really a struggle to hold down a job or to you know, pay the rent every month. Um, it, it was a whole new world that I hadn't really expected to experience. So right. when I saw how, how hard it was to come out of that situation and to stabilize, I thought there's got to be a better way. Mm. And, you know, I jumped right into it because I'm so excited to get your story out there. So this is Nikia Kelly. And you want to introduce is, everybody else? This is Jesse Velasquez and this is Lisa Dudley. And both artists? Yes. Both artists, and they're working with you in, in this process here? Yes. Right? Yes. Um, so tell me, okay, so that's what got you into it. Now, what do you do? Because that is a very big deal. <laughs> well, Change Her Story, I always say, is not, we are not an organization that helps in crisis. So the initial crisis is not really where we are the best fit. Right. Typically an organization, because we work with women who are coming out of everything from human trafficking to domestic violence to sexual violence, um, even addiction, prostitution. So it, we are not the best fit for immediately following the crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, that's better to be in a transitional home or a recovery program. We are kind of the next step. Correct. So now they need to get their life back. Right. It, it, it kind of seems we were talking before it, it does. The ball gets dropped because, you, you know, they, they need the help. They need the psychological, the physical, the, you know, that whole thing. And but they don't teach them where to go next. They just exactly. assume that, oh, you're good. You, you, you know where to go. But that's not true, is it? Yes. Yeah. And, and you're just basically let out to here's the world go figure it out and sometimes um the women have much like lisa and jesse uh have had a lot of physical trauma so there's ongoing health issues so holding down like a regular job is impossible um lisa especially was when i met her um just kind of hanging out at home even though like she's technically disabled, she needs community right. and support and she needs to have a life after the trauma. So um, ultimately we also, we're faith-based, so we love the Lord. So in community, we're pouring into each other and, and praying together and, and really finding life after the trauma. Right, and then that's, that's huge. I mean, it's, and, and, and I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, and I didn't say this before, it's like the military. The military sometimes does, do not train their soldiers coming out of the military how to be a citizen. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So once the trauma's happened and they've gotten that help, you turn them into entrepreneurs because, you know, we all, First of all, it's good to work for ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, but B, when you can set your own hours and you can do what you're going to do, you're not worried about, well, if I have a bad day today and I have to call in sick, and if that happens kind of like a couple times, you know, the bosses get a little upset about that. Exactly. But if you've got your own life in your hands and you get a little more skin in the game, so you're a little more apt to do better, right? Yes. So let's talk about some of the stuff that you, that they're actually, I, I'm, I'm, first of all, there's candy behind me, so I'm really happy. <laughs> And there's sugar on a stick, so I mean, sugar I, I, could, I, I, I would never leave. I, I'm just saying. So, <laughs> but let's talk about some of the artwork and some of the project. And actually, you've even got books. Yes. So, um, one of the things we we do at Change Her Story, we run a nonprofit publishing house okay. inside of our organization. So the women will um, essentially sometimes write their story and. Uh, 
not even sometimes like this is a devotional that was done by Evelyn Mann. Um, she didn't, this isn't specifically her story, but uh, she felt that she was called to do this book. So this creates a product that she can then take to the marketplace right. and um, gives her, gives her a way to leverage that experience. So we have, um, and this is a book of poetry that was done um, with Lissa's artwork. I was going to say the artist is sitting right over yeah. there that covered. That's so awesome. This, this is actually her artwork. Lissa's artwork is um, the cover of this book. We digitized a canvas that she actually hand painted nice. uh, specifically for this poetry. So, um, and this is a human trafficking survivor. Right. And her story is weaved through uh, the way that she found hope in the streets, even though she was being trafficked. Okay. So, um, we just give them an opportunity to create something in the world that they can use to leverage their future. Right. Now, and, and I, now I'm seeing this beautiful shirt right yes. there. We also that make is shirts. That is something that's done in house as yes, well. Yes, done here. Yes, and this is um, this is actually a screen transfer. So uh, we create the designs that go on the shirts, um, and then they are physically pressed by heat presses here in our um, in our in community. We always say this is the office. <laughs> it's technically <laughs> a house, but it's also the office. Right. You know. Um, so everybody kind of. People stay here. People work here. Right. Um, it's kind and of. And then the, you got a. a no, okay, this is cute. The, the the llama. Yes, this is the llama. The llama. Yes, we started doing um, llama and alpaca products. Okay. Uh, because we are helping our sister with the remedy farm, Melissa. <laughs> yep. Uh, she uh, has this amazing calling as an alpaca farmer which we go to the alpaca farm pretty often all of us go because it is the remedy farm so it's very healing and it's right. amazing and peaceful so um we go as a group pretty often okay. to the alpaca farm okay but melissa in her future is going to have a product line uh, oh, nice. related to the remedy farm okay so. and then on the end down there this young lady in the middle I love this. This is gorgeous. This is Lissa's. This is Lissa's art. Lissa makes um, all sorts of art. All this beautiful stuff that is behind me. Uh, it's all signed by Lissa, handmade with love. Nice. We teach them how to do branding and that's uh, a big deal. Yeah, to specifically not just make a product, but to make a product ready for the marketplace. Right. Okay, and then you have the cutting board down there. Yes. I'm going to try to get these real quick because I want to. So we we've only got a couple minutes left. Yes. I have to we show this. So what is it? So if, if I'm watching this and if I'm a lady and I'm going through this stuff, you know, this very tragic stuff and I've gotten my, I've kind of gone through the first step. How do they get a hold of you to be able to, and what does it take? Well, typically uh, we, we get women coming from all sorts of uh, either referrals from domestic violence organizations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's even word of mouth through the other sisterhood. Uh, someone knows someone mm -hmm. who, um, and sometimes we just get direct phone calls. So we pretty much, we don't, we don't say that you have to come in any specific avenue. Okay. If God leads you here, uh, this is a sanctuary. And we believe that uh, you were meant to be here. If you were led here, then we bring you in and, and you start to be a part of the community. Now, all of this wonderful stuff, yeah. especially, the, especially the candy over there and the candy over here. And the <laughs> yeah. if, if I want, if, so if I want to have you make some stuff for me, I can have you, I can talk website, best way? Changehersstory.org. Okay. Um, you can reach us at info at changehersstory.org, which is also on the website. Our phone number is on there. Okay. Um, you just reach out. We we actually now are starting to, we make shirts for uh, other people. Other people ask us to produce their shirts. Okay. So sometimes now we're making other people's products. Nice. But the women are involved in, in doing that process. So. That is, I, no, if I wanted to carry some of this stuff, like say I have a little cafe somewhere, which I actually might happen to have, um, <laughs> can I can I reach out to you guys and go, okay, I want to carry some of your products? Yes, all of our products go into the regular wholesale and distribution channels. We have a GS1 universal barcoding system. So all of our products can be tagged and barcoded for the independent retail sector. So That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Now, do you allow people to come here? Yes. Or pre okay, so, I didn't see. so sometimes it's like, no, we need to stay away zone. No, 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 no. We actually, we open the doors to people all the time. Uh, throughout the fall, we actually, Lissa will be doing uh, art classes. We actually have this beautiful outdoor space. If it wasn't hot, we'd be shooting out there, but it's hot. <laughs> we have 
we have this beautiful outdoor space that uh, really has been gifted to us as a blessing. We just moved into this space uh, in April, so we saw this as a beautiful space to have host events. So okay. we will be hosting uh, workshops where Lisa will, will do a soap making class. Uh, Lisa, I mean, Lisa will be doing art classes. Jesse will be doing soap making classes. We also talked about doing t-shirt parties where people can come in because we can actually, they can see the process and make their really? own. Yeah, they can choose designs for t-shirts and, and we is, can press them. That is awesome. So is yeah. everything on the website, including the location? Yes. All right, give it, give it, to, give that to them one more time. Our phone yeah. number? No, nope, your website and your Our yeah, website I'm is sorry, change, <laughs> changeherstory.org. And we are, our physical location is 1917 uh, Dover Court in Oldsmar. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank so you. stick around. We'll be right back. we got the Chamber of Commerce coming up. And I know they're, they're busy. they got all kind of stuff. We'll be right back after these messages. we're back and you know what this 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 little duo going on over here has got something that we all want good floors right whether it be tile wood you don't do carpet though do you no oh god that's good so i've got javiana mendoza and sammy san Juan, Correct. right okay. and you guys are from floor and decor and more no i'm just kidding <laughs> um so let's talk about what 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 does what does floor and decor do so basically, Floor Decor has been around since 2000. We started from one store. Right now, we're at 166 stores. We are growing 30, 40 new stores per year. Our goal is to have 500 stores in the next five years. Uh, we are the industry leader in hard surface flooring coverings um, from 50 square feet to 500,000 square feet. No job is too big or too Whoa. small for Floor and Decor. That is awesome. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't know about Floor and Decor that I, that I found out. Mm -hmm. You have in-house you have a design professional right so someone like me that walks in and go well i want to put that down and javiana goes oh no you don't because mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what it should look like and this is what let's talk about what you do Okay, so yes, how you say we have free design services we have uh, oh i didn't say child. free i thought we got i thought i had to pay for that stuff Nope, not really. It's totally free. Um, so you can make the appointment through the website or just call into the store and we schedule for you. You will have a time about hour, hour and a half, depending on how big is your project uh, with one of our designers we have in the Clearwater store. I'm the manager there. Okay. Uh, we have eight designers in total, including myself. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a, one of the biggest teams um, for design. Uh, we have over uh, two millions uh, um, a square feet in items that you can choose for your design, your bathroom, kitchen, offices. We has been designed as offices as well. So it's basically if you dream it, we do it. <laughs> I, I, that's a what a, that you should you, that should be on her card. <laughs> her business card should say that you dream it. We'll get it done. So. Um, now, do you come to the houses? Will you go on site as well, or is it strictly in in house? It's a strictly in the store okay. uh, for now. Uh, we will have that in home consultation coming soon. Uh, probably, we're not sure exactly, but it will be for next year. Okay. But I know Texas already tested, and nice. it's going really, really good. Okay. For in home consultation, it's a pay service. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have it totally free, you can go to the store. Okay. Now, if I'm coming to the store, do I need to do I need to be pictures of the interior that of my house now? Uh, yes, it's better because we can have a better visual of okay. what you're working on. And also, um, one of my recommendations to people, it's 
always talk picture of the rest of the house because we can see how their looks what they like okay. uh, what colors they have around so we can create better designs the style around on what they really want to okay now sammy was bragging about you right so in, 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 sometimes it's hard to talk about ourselves i get it i, I have no problem <laughs> with that but I, you are a i mean you're truly a professional degree i mean you have the training of being a design expert correct um how he told you i graduated in venezuela as an architect i moved uh in 2017 to united states um unfortunately i was uh, a, unable to sign as an architect mm -hmm. here so i did a twist in my career <laughs> and now i'm a student the interior decorating right. service and the pinella Senica college nice. and here i am and now i'm manager of the flooring decor. so that means you have that vision of it's great that i want to do this kind of flooring in this room but if it doesn't flow correctly to the rest of the house you're the person who can say well we need to kind of talk about that Yes, I will try to direction you in the best way that I can. Um, obviously, it's all, uh, you always will be the person that you will live there. Mm -hmm. So it's in base of what you really right, want. Right. Um, but I will always try to direction to the best option. That is very cool. Now, Sammy, let's let's talk about you. You literally everything other than carpet. Mm -hmm. You have all types of flooring. I mean, let's talk about that. Yeah, so basically we have from vinyl, laminate, uh, mosaics, again, um, any hard surface floorings, we are the nation's leader. We actually came out with a new product recently, a 24 by 48 tile, where nobody has, where we that have is stuck. That is huge. It's going to get bigger. We're yeah. going to start carrying a 5 by 10 slab <laughs> in November. So imagine <laughs> having five slabs All for right. one shower. So that's going to maximize your return on investment when you put the property in the market. Right. So when it's I say amazing. that we're the industry leader, we are the industry leader. That I mean, I, I always thought the biggest towel you get is a, a two foot by two foot. Yeah. But not now. No, sir. No, I still people looking for the 18s by 18s and it's like, a, nope, no, no. <laughs> we have bigger than those. It looks awesome. It makes uh, look bigger your space. Mm -hmm. You don't have crowds, lines that much. So cleaning wise is... It's perfect. It's so perfect. do you do exotic woods for flooring? We generally, well, every, the good thing about flooring decor is that every market is different, every region is different. Okay. We do live in Florida in the climate. Mm. It's not the best for natural harbor. We do carry a good selection. Right. But versus, let's say, in the Northeast or the Northwest, that's more prominent, right. more there. But that's the beauty about flooring decor that we have the capacity to bring in product. Um, for one of our 166 other stores. So you have a, a project. Right. I like this product at the location in Washington State. We'll bring it in for you. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, that was my question. It's like, if I'm out west and I see some great flooring and I come here, man, I can't find it anywhere. If I've got a picture of it or something like that, I can say, Sammy, can you get me this? And probably, yeah. We'll hunt it down for you. Okay. So let's talk about, now you do acoustical I, 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 I used you guys mm -hmm. a lot. So, um, it's, I mean, you sometimes the flooring is great, but it's got to have an acoustical value in some of the stuff that people's homes, that stuff you can get as well. Uh, special order, we need to look more at the detail for it, but we right. do sell cork under limit by right. itself, which actually help out for what you're trying to do. We also do so a product which is part of the same family. It's called Nucor. Mm. It's, it's a luxury vinyl plank with a cork under mm. So it'll give you the appearance and still it's more sound acoustic friendly for what you're trying to achieve. Right. So. Now, you, this is not just because it's, it, you had stuff for the walls as well. Correct. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Because there's different types of products. Yeah, yeah, we have mosaic, we have tiles, we have wood, how he say, we have travertine. We're trying to uh, be a little bit more open and pull for tiles for pool too. Okay. Um, it, it's not just about flooring. It's mm. literally to create a full design for your house. Basically, we have now fixtures, mirrors, lightings, uh, ah. countertop. We have prefabricates. We have custom countertop. So it's. It's thinking in about the full project for your house. Okay, so it's not just the floor. I mean, I can come yeah. in there and get a nice, I can make everything match. 
So if they have a nice floor and I say, well, oh, I really want this to countertop, then that's where you come in going, this countertop will look really good with these floors. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and then lighting and lighting and fixtures, that's very good. Yeah, that's those are new. So most, um, I'm not sure right now if all the store already have it, but we were one of the uh, first one in and get the lightings in there and mirrors. So if you go there and you visit, you will see a bunch of new uh, items did we try to refresh every uh what three months every quarter so every we quarter. try no, to okay. refresh our time make it look yeah. a little prettier yeah got more stuff um so <clears throat> now what if i need supplies like you know do i need still need to go to home depot i hate to say that word in front of everybody but do i need to get in front of my grout and all that kind of stuff or is that something that floor and decor carries as well? No, that's fair to say. Um, yes, uh, we do carry all the same materials needed for the tile. We have the thin set, the mortar, the grout, the underlay that's needed as well. So not many people do do realize that we sell some hardy backer board, cement boards. Basically, <laughs> I'd have never known that. Yeah, so basically everything you need to do the project right. that you think you're going to Home Depot loads, we're a one-stop shop for that. Okay. Now, if if what's the best thing for me to do? Go to the website first? As for the order placement or uh, just to kind of look and see what you got well we, I, I highly recommend this um if you're looking for a design or a project i would highly recommend you go to social media see what you like i like this bathroom i like these ideas mm. screenshot go to their website see what we have available the good thing about the website you actually choose the clearwater floor decor you see what we have in stock in the store okay once you have a good idea you come into the store we set up it as an appointment with javiana for example hey javiana i like this product and she's able to pick product we have in the store in stock and bring your uh, dream to life. That is absolute. Now, where are you located? Uh, we are located at the Curry Water Store. So it's literally a US 19 with the Drew Street. Okay. Um, in front of uh, the same parking lot where it's uh, Buffalo Winds and okay. the, the stadium. Okay, so, so oh, that's right. You're right there by the uh, the Blue Major. Jays or yeah. the training clamp. That is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, best way to get a hold of you guys is to call the numbers that's been on there or go to the website, correct? Yeah, correct. correct. Um, also, on the website, it's really a good to know. We have a visualizer on the website. So it's literally, you can take a picture of your room. You can update the picture there and put the tiles on the wall floor and you will have an idea how it looks even if you don't have the time to go to the store. It's a quick uh, tool that you can use to have an idea. Excellent. All right, well, thank you for being on My Chamber TV. We'll be right back. We have great more guests coming on, so stick around after these messages. Okay, everybody, we're back and we saved the best for last. We got Miss Suzanne. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we've seen you. Yes, it's, yes Annette's yes. always been Sometimes coming on, and we little... love her. She's awesome, but it's like, yeah, then, you know, maybe we'll get the the get big deal, the big deal. Yeah. Oh, gee, <laughs> I'm not that big a deal. Oh, you are. You have no <laughs> idea when I tell people, hey, we're you know, my chamber TV is actually getting to film in Safety uh, Safety Harbor. They're like, what? I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we made it up there. We made it up there. So how's it going in the chamber? The chamber is doing just great. One, everything's wonderful. Yeah. Um, we we surpassed our kind of milestone goal of wanting to reach 400 members. We're now 415 members. Whoa, that is um, awesome. And a lot of that is thanks to our very successful Third Friday event that's been going on. I know we talk about that every. Hey, month, I probably. But I want you to talk about every single time because I just like hearing <laughs> it. It's getting. It's just. A, it's a good. It's a good event. It really is. Yeah. Um, we have the street. We have very few spaces available left for vendors. Wow. The, the demand for vendor space has been really good. That's awesome. Um, so we're really pleased with it. We have a great team that we hired to actually work it. Mm -hmm. Good. Or uh, third Friday. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice because staff 
doesn't have to be there every third isn't Friday. That, isn't that's that a long nice day. to have someone to take care of that? Because yeah. that's a lot of work. And people don't know how much work that is. And it's a lot of work. It is. Yeah. Cammie on our team, she's full time at the chamber, heads up the third Friday now. And she has a team of three who just come in for third Friday. Just do it all. It's, it's great. Yeah. So, um, so is. I know you had a goal of 400. You, you surpassed that. And, and everybody that I talked to, and I talked to a lot of people, they're all like, yeah, the, you really have a good reputation in, in, in that town. You know, it's strong. So, because some places you go and, and, the, and to be a part of the chamber, it's not a big deal. But there, it's, it's a big deal. That's nice to hear because it took us a while to get there. It wasn't always that way well, years ago. But um, we have... I can say that I think we've accomplished it by cultivating renewals. Like we don't go out knocking on doors, asking people to belong to the chamber. But if we take really good care of our members and, um, you know, we offer a lot of little things that are benefits. We're not just a networking organization. We do a lot of little things for our members. Um, the members are recruiting members because they're talking and that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> that is, and you know what? That's we call that reverse door knocking. You know, when yeah. your members and your partners are saying, "Man, you know, I joined the chamber. I'm glad I did. This has been phenomenal. It's a big deal." Yeah, and and honestly, we don't hear that much anymore. Where when it comes time for renewal, they say, "Well, I joined the chamber and I didn't get much out of it." We don't hear that anymore. Right. Um, you know, if they don't renew, they've they've moved out of town or they've changed owners or mm -hmm. they, you know, there's some reason beyond our control right. that they don't renew their membership, which which is a good feeling. Um, it took us, like I said, though, a while to accomplish that. Right. Well, you know, I, I tell you, you know, I, I hear that all the time. I hear people. Oh, I'm, I, I, so the first thing I ask everybody is, are you a part of a chamber? Are you a part of a, a rotor or something like that? And are, or do you network? Well, I was a part of chamber, but I just didn't get anything out of it. And I, my, my first immediate response is, well, what'd you put in it? Exactly. Because if you don't put anything in it, if you're not going to get anything out of it, mm -hmm. if you just think you're going to sign up and business is going to flow through your door, it, it just yeah. does not work that way. And we try to set that expectation when they join right you know like you are going to need to you know we can offer all this stuff but you mm -hmm. have to take advantage of it right you, know, you have to contact us to take advantage of your member e-blast that we offer for you right you know you you need to tag us in your social media so that we can share it you know with the more members you get the harder it is to keep track of all the members it, so it does. you know it puts a little bit of the onus on the member to make sure they take advantage of their yeah, we, we had one of the shows that we, or one of the segments we interviewed, and they're like, oh, I just don't see it in a lot of events. I said, well, unfortunately, we're a small production company, and we're all over the place, but we have new people coming in now that's going to start showing up to everything, so that way we have a little more of a presence in the in the area. He goes, well, that would be awesome. And he goes, have you been to a, have you been to a third Friday? And I'm like, uh, I have. And they're awesome. <laughs> I get to, anytime I have a free Friday that I can go and do something, especially with a safety harbor chain, where we, we're, we're down there in a heartbeat. Because the music's good, the food is good, and so I've I've seen vendors at yours that I've not seen before, which is normally it's hard to yeah. it's it's hard to say because you can go to a you can go to an event somewhere and I'm like it's the same old people it's you know it's the same type of business, hmm. but Safety Harbor's got some very I call them eclectic, now not not to be mean or not to be rude but it's it's they're just great little business I'm like wow I would have never known you existed if I didn't come here. Well, a year ago when we took Third, third Friday over, um, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen. It was mm -hmm. a little scary. We didn't know, but we did put criteria on who could be a vendor because we wanted it to be all about Safety Harbor businesses. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a chamber member or a downtown mm -hmm. business on Main Street member or business. So I think that kind of weeded out maybe the not real um, serious businesses. Right. Yep. You know, and then they they have to be a member, and they do still pay a vendor fee on top of that. So, um, yeah, it keeps it more quality. And something else I found, which you it sometimes you don't see a lot of, is the camaraderie between the brick and mortar businesses and the and the vendors is really good. Mm -hmm. They're really because a lot of times you go it and like to be. <laughs> you know you have the the brick and mortar people. Well, I really wish that person was on. They kind of got the same stuff I do. Now it's you know I go there and it's like oh yeah you know and if I I went into a couple of the businesses like 
I was looking for a certain thing. Nope, you know what? There's a guy out there about four tenths down that's got exactly what you're looking for. I'm like, well, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's important because it is kind of a dance. It's got to mm. be very carefully choreographed placement of vendors, respecting the merchant who has a storefront, you know, what they want or don't want in front of there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Cammie and her team do a really good job of placement of vendors, but it, it is kind of a delicate thing. <laughs> it's a fine line you got to walk, is, right? Yeah. It, so are you doing a lot of ribbon cuttings? We do. We do. Um, as they're requested, you know, um, our big thing now that we're planning is our annual dinner celebration mm. coming up in September. So um, we're putting kind of a different vibe to it this year, making it a little more casual. It's still going to be at Safety Harbor Resort and Spa, and we're still going to have all our Business of the Year awards and all of that. But um, it's it, it, we're going to make it a little less formal, if you will. Um, instead of a, like a plated dinner, it'll be food stations to move people around, and we're going to oh, use nice. video a little more to. I know a good company. Feature, <laughs> yeah, I know. I just just saw that. Um, to feature like all our nominees right. on the sc big screen, make everybody feel important because it's, well, it's all about important. celebrating the members. Right, yeah. absolutely. You yeah. know, without the members, we're just a bunch of people sitting around talking to ourselves. <laughs> it's not fun. That's um, true. You know? So, uh, anything, any any big events coming up other than the um, the award, uh, the uh, the big the big gala? I call yeah. it the big gala. Uh, we're going to do a bruise and bite. We did Ooh. that in the spring. We're going to do another one in November. Okay. In November at Cricket Thumb Brewery. And then we have our big, big event that we're already planning is our art and seafood on the waterfront in February. That is such a great... It's huge. It's really growing. And yep. It still has a lot of potential to grow. And so we're putting a lot of time into that. To make sure it's top notch. You know, I, I, I got to say that I really do love Safety Harbor. Um, almost lived there. And when I first moved to Florida, we love the fact that you can literally, it has a real true honest to God downtown. Yep. It's a main street and you can walk up and you can walk down. And I don't know, we tried it one day. We came on a, early on a Saturday and we could only get one side. We couldn't go back there because we had stopped so many places. We're like, and we're exhausted. <laughs> we're like, where did we park the car? Oh yeah. And parking's great. Plenty of parking. I, I tell people that. Not people, everybody. Not people everybody argue thinks with that, me. I know they they'll you can argue with find me. Oh, a parking oh, space. I always find parking, and there's I mean, and literally you can you can eat and drink and shop up one side and be exhausted by the end of the day and not get the second side. It's almost like Safety Harbor is a two day stay, for my opinion. You get a little B and B there in town, and then you do one side one day and one side the it next is. day, and you're good. A nice little weekend getaway. Yep. Right. So, uh, <laughs> anything that I need to know that I didn't ask? Um, We're all I good. I think we covered it. But, awesome. Um, I love that. So, the best way to get a hold of you is probably going to the website, right? Right. Safetyharborchamber.com. And um, we have, if you want to learn about our downtown and our third Friday, there's a page on there. To, um, with links of how to be a vendor and so forth. Okay. Um, we're trying to make our website more of a go-to place for everything. Um, yeah, that's that's nice that's awesome. Go. Thank you for coming on today. We Thank appreciate you, John. it. We we love it. Well, we like when the big guy comes here. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the big deal's here. Everybody, thank you for watching My Chamber TV this week. We appreciate it. We know you have plenty of other stuff out there on the internet to watch, and you watch us. We appreciate it. We'll see everybody next week on My Chamber TV. Thank you.